So recently I've discovered this guy called Help Me Reach 50k Subs, a YouTuber that broke the comment section and is now reaching his 50k subs goal. But how did he break the comment section and why the hell is he on every single music video that was ever made? So how did this guy break the algorithm? Well, he used perfect timing and he definitely knew how the comment section worked. So first, the comment section on YouTube. It has been heavily silenced. Whenever you want to comment, YouTube shows you the community guidelines that you have to follow or your comment will be hidden. You may see it as posted, but in reality, they've hidden it. But why? Well, YouTube has a bad reputation with the comment section. There are many articles that talk about why YouTube has the worst comment section on the internet. Which, if they mean on the surface internet, then yeah, I agree. But anything below it? Yeah. No. Anyway, the main point is that YouTube has been silencing the YouTube comment section for a while now. And if you've been on YouTube for the past 8 years, you might have noticed that you haven't been seeing any bad or inappropriate comments on the top comment section. It's not that they've just stopped appearing because they have all moved to other sites. They're still on YouTube and they can still comment. But why don't we see any of these comments again? Simple. They've been silenced. They see that the comment is there and is posted. But in reality, it hasn't been posted. Maybe it looks like it, but it's not. So this is one of the check marks you have to comply with to get your comment to the top. Another thing that you have to fulfill to get your comment to the top is relatability. Specifically, relatability to the video. Something like a funny comment that the person reading it will find funny, because that joke or a meme comment corresponds to the video and since most people comment on a video after they fully watched it, they will understand the joke that you posted about the video in the form of a comment. That's why relatability to the video is the second most important aspect of getting your comment to the top. But YouTube has added another check mark that makes your chances of getting your comment to the top super easily and that's the main reason you've been seeing this guy everywhere. heartwarming comments. Comments that are so easily exploitable, you basically have an almost guarantee that your comment will get to the top. But why? Why has YouTube added this big unstable mess of a check mark that is breaking the comments section? Because of the virus. Many people around the world are dying because of it. But imagine this, how would you feel like if your sibling was dying from it? You would probably feel terrible and scared, so after so much stress, you would probably want to relax a bit. So you would go on YouTube, click onto any video, watch it and look at the comments. And then you would see a heartwarming comment and you would feel that sense of security and love. Or that's what the businessmen in suits think. They think by topping the most sugary sweet comment in the top section that they will feel better and finally smile after a while. And that's probably what the journalists think too. You know, the ones that criticized YouTube about the crappy comments? Yeah, YouTube thinks that they could just scrub off the bad rep like this. They think the critiques would see the comment section and be like, Yeah, YouTube's comment section is fixed. No more weird people, no more pedometers, and most importantly, no more bad rap. Except, we're not dumb. I mean, some comments still pass through the filter and just end up in the newest first section. So, maybe just remove the newest first section? Anyway, let's look at the guy's comment again. Do you see it now? This guy used the heartwarming comment tactic that I just mentioned. Not only that, but he used a botting program to spread the comments onto every single MV ever made. And what do you know? How many views does a typical MV get? Hmm. So, in conclusion, this guy should be terminated for violating two rules. First, and this is kind of a half rule, is that he bypassed the filter by using special letters that haven't been added to the filter yet. And second, the main one, he used a botting program to spread his comments onto every single music video, which is against YouTube's community guidelines. The end.